I Got the Hell Out does contain explicit content that might not be suitable for some listeners, such as children, those that easily get offended, and we do recommend that listeners at work put your earbuds in if you have co-workers around. And if you like the show, please spread the word by telling as many people as you can. We'd also appreciate if you would subscribe, rate, hopefully with five stars, and review the podcast on iTunes. You can find us there as well as on Stitcher and Overcast. You can follow us on Twitter at Was In A Cult, on Facebook at I Got The Hell Out, and on Instagram at I Got The Hell Out with an underscore after each word. You can contact us through our website at IGotTheHellOut.com. Hi guys, it's Deb and Laura, and it's another episode of I Got The, the hell, hell Out. And I guess we could start with the Kool-Aid recipe. Sure. Would Go you ahead. like to do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I had to scroll backwards in through the pending posts, okay, but this um, was submitted to us back in April. Oh, okay. Okay, um, let me get the pending posts here, and it's the um, Tipsy Bartender, it's a video again. Okay. Oh, that one guy? Oh, the funny guy, yeah, yeah the yeah. funny, 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 funny guy, okay. Um, anyway, this comes from a Marissa... N, I think it is. Hold mm-hmm. on, I'll find it in a second. Oh, up, look, 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 I forgot to turn. Don't say turn him off. I forgot. <laughs> it's a Marissa N, okay? Uh-huh. Um, and you have to watch the video, but in the end it's called The Bullfrog. Okay. Which we did mention bullfrogs and frogs legs and other at some shit point. at some point. At some point. Okay. Um, you need a two liter of Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm. And you pour the Mountain Dew out to the top of the label. Gotcha. Okay. I watched the video. The only thing I would do differently is add the dry Kool-Aid mix. Two packets um, of like a berry blue or, you know, raspberry lemonade or something. Okay. Um, And you have to add them dry, just the way they are. Mm -hmm. He put the vodka in beforehand and it all fizzed out. So I'm figuring if you put the Kool-Aid in first. And then the vodka. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, And he called the vodka juice of life. (laughs) I had to agree with them at the moment. The okay, life, absolutely. Um, after you fill your Mountain Dew bottle back up with the vodka, you shake, shake, shake. You shake the two liter. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Anyway, what, nothing good's coming from that. Well, anyway, watch the video. Okay, <laughs> um, you serve it over ice, and it does have an ad. I'm sorry, guys, about the ad, um, but we are going to post this okay. now. Okay. And um, did you have? Anything I do while you're posting whatever that is. Um, thank people from Patreon. I finally got around to doing that. So sorry, guys. Head's been up my ass. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you to a let me see, let me get it here. A Violet B, um, Mo H, and Melissa C. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, uh, stop by the post office. Um, our post office address is P.O. Box 284, um, Oakdale, PA 15071, is it not? Yes, it is. Um, I'm, I'm expanding my offer to anybody in that state where the cult is. <laughs> um, we got a handful of envelopes that I'm going to be sending some nice stickers out to. Um, I think it'd just be funny if we could get that entire region Cali stickered stickered up stickered. on the back on the back of the cars you know a little bu- and I think they're what three by three or four by four five by five something like that they're yeah. tiny they're just a little square with the logo on it but I, I would love to see their faces when they start seeing you know stickers popping up everywhere mm-hmm. and um Jay please kick me in the ass ex-member um I was supposed to send you shirts so that you could you know take a picture in front of all of their lovely billboards <laughs> Um, any ex-members who are planning on being in the area, who live in the area, who would like a t-shirt, um, just private message me, um, let me know and I will send you one and maybe we'll make a compilation and just, well, we could mail pictures to them, real pictures. Okay. Like tangible pictures. <laughs> Somebody would have to open them, right? True. Somebody would see them in True. the mail room. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, did you find anything you know what their blog has nothing just a bunch of bible verses and that is it you know what's crazy is it's like each week they put less and less on there 
Okay, well, um, again, this show pretty much writes itself except for what I have in the homework book, right? Mm-hmm. Is this regular Deb or drunk Deb? Oh, no, this is, this was, I, I started, I worked last night. Okay. Um, and I got off, I had to wait for the roofer guys to come back. Anyway, long story short, hi, Marie. Um, Marie threw a dinner party for a couple people on our street, and mm-hmm. it was set for 8 o'clock. And after the dinner party, I went home at 10. So I only really had like three beers, but I had dinner with it. So. Right. And I knew I had to write this, and we're doing this late today. So I had this morning to finish it up. Okay. Now, after that long spiel of absolutely nothing, okay, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, I made you watch something. <laughs> Look at your eyes roll again. God, it was like, a, even though it was only about a minute... It's it like was a painful. minute that I'll never get back. Okay, now I need to talk about this video just a tiny bit before we discuss it, okay? Okay. When I used to go to services, I need a drink because my throat is very dry. <laughs> Sorry about the crinkling gum. <laughs> when I used to attend services, mm-hmm. um, they would come out and give announcements. That's how you knew things were going to be kicking things off. Um, you'd have a guest speaker and then you'd have the main speaker. Okay. And I can't really watch their videos. They just creep me the hell out. Okay. But you know, with everything going on in the world and they pick and choose what news they want to incorporate into their fear tactics over the pulpit. Oh, and I'm sure they pick which spin they want to. Exactly. Um, Everybody out there knows you could make a case for or against anything with the the, the videos that are mm-hmm. out there, the information, people's opinions. Yep. I, Laura, you're a pharmacist and you could say, I don't think this drug is very safe in my opinion. There could be another pharmacist that just thinks it's the greatest thing since sliced pie. No, absolutely. Because someone could have had a good experience with it. Someone could have had a bad experience with it. Ex- and that skews your thinking. Exactly. And so with everything, it could be made to look good or made to look bad. Just, right. And they are so using everything in the world. I mean, and trying to start the video because I couldn't. This video is over two hours long. Oh, God. Um, anybody who wants to look up their last sermon... Um, it's right after they, ha- I knew where it was. It's, it's a two hour mark, but um, I wrote down last night that um, when there's 39 minutes left to the video is when Little Man comes out. Right, not 30 minutes, 39 minutes in, 39 minutes left. 39 minutes left to the video. But their clips, use, when, when I'm scrolling through their page, you can sometimes get a glimpse of one of the speakers. Mm-hmm. And um, it, it's like a two-second glimpse, and I saw it was Little Man, and I told you he had changed so much. He has lost so much weight. What did he look like to you? He looked like a damn Muppet to me. <laughs> he had these purple robes on that were way too big for him. All he needed was fur. <laughs> he would have been a Muppet. He looked like a damn Muppet. Then he was waving those branches. of Were they supposed to be olive branches or ferns or what were they? He looked like he was bringing in a plane. This was ridiculousness, guys. I... I was flipping through this, I, like, you know how you, you, you don't want to, I didn't, wasn't going to sit through two hours of it. I would have clawed my face off, okay? Um, but it started out with little children, girls. Mm-hmm, and they, then they had their mix in of little boys. I thought, well, that's something different, okay? And, I mean, they moved up through the years of teens, young adults, blah, blah, blah. To little man is the last of I don't know. Say best for 30, last, right? Forty people I saw, and, uh. and some of them was just like that one little girl who just came out, mumbled something, and I got off the step stools. Oh my lord! So anyway, um, I did see Elder Huda on there. I thought he'd been long dead by now. 
He looks like a Muppet, too. I should have to try and find him for you. Okay. Okay. What color Muppet was he? Purple, Purple. Too? Purple. Oh, purple's the color. Yeah. And did you see the purple face masks they had for I'm an Elder? I wasn't paying attention oh, to it was, that part. It was hanging off of his neck. Of course, Little, oh, little okay. Man didn't have one, but the man introducing Little Man gotcha. did. Okay. Now, when I made you watch this video, okay, mm -hmm. there was a bunch of news clips. Which I did, like, listen to those news clips sporadically because it wasn't his voice grinding my right. brain out of my head. Um, do you think they're using the propaganda against the people there? Oh, my God. What were they talking about? Oh, they're talking about, um, what, Lebanon? Yes, the, um, the explosion there. Yes. And how it was prophesied. Okay. As is everything. Um, they had numbers of the coronavirus. Um, I have no idea how many minutes they had strung together, but you know, if I was still a member there, I'd just be so happy to be watching something instead of people talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, I made you watch this for a couple of minutes because he comes out and he waves these branches, a Muppet waving branches. I'm going to, okay, the next thing we're going to discuss is later, okay? But I'm going to try and figure out how to cut the part of the video out mm -hmm. and put something over his face. Gotcha. So everybody can, and take the take I, the audio off of it. Right. Um, 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 oh, good Jeff, luck with all of that. Jeff, can you help us with this, please? He's our local tech guy. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, anyway, the virus is the mark of the beast. I made you listen That's to him. Right. And he sounded like a mouthful of marbles. He really did. Now, and you said, Does not sound too healthy. Well, he sounded like a mouthful of marbles and he looks like a Muppet in an oversized suit because of all of the weight he has mm -hmm. lost. You've seen his grinning face when I've showed you, you know, breaking news things. Mm -hmm. He's like a little shriveled up little raisin. I mean... Anybody else, I would feel sorry for them. I really would. I had people tell me that, you know, I was mean for saying that, you know, playing the song, I'm glad you're dead for Shaul. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sorry. The only stance I take, um, all lives matter except pedophiles. Okay? Um, all lives matter except for evil mother fuckers okay um live and let live be kind help um elder shaul fit into the psychopath he didn't care how many lives he disrupted how many couples broke up how many child brides it's he was doing his quote-unquote job um interesting fact on him okay um he really had no background. Like, seriously, he had no background. Like, you can... Sort of like Little Man? Um, no. Kind of like you start digging into his driver's license. Oh, you mean no background. I thought you meant no background in, like, being a leader. No. no. You meant no background, just as period. If, he just, if, like, appeared. As if his identity was gotcha. made for him around the time he joined. Gotcha. Had always been speculated if he was, like, undercover CIA, you know. <clears throat> we had our own conspiracy theories in the cult. Mm -hmm. Come on. Um, I, he, You can't really find anything on him. He claimed to be ex-military. Um, but Oh, that's creepy. I, I can't give out who told me, but um, they kind of showed me that. Like, I could look you up. Mm-hmm. And it would let me know what college you went to. Right, right. Um, depending on what service you pay for, it could tell me how many parking tickets you've had in your life. Um, shout out to my bosses. They have a service that when they're going to hire somebody, like you just type the name in there and bada bing. I mean, if if I get picked up for drunk driving tonight, she'll know by the morning. Right. Okay? And... Again, I'm not going to dwell on this, but... Um, Nowhere yeah, to be found. He didn't really exist, and he was actually second in command in that place. Oh, 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 we got to... Oh, I totally forgot about this. 
Um, shout out to Brandon. We all love Brandon, yep. right? Yep. Hey, Brandon. Um, remember, we had no idea how the bitch I love to hate oh, is how now she's like, second yeah, in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? I asked Brandon about that, and he was nice enough to write me um, a synopsis to read for everybody. <sighs> But that'll be next. Oh, you know what? I, I hate you. I well, hate when you do this. I have to finish this stuff. Okay. Are we done with this stuff? Finish. <clears throat> Just little man waving the branches and the video and all that good stuff. Do you have anything else to no. add about that? No. Go to that thing you were just talking about. Oh. Um, about the bitch I love to hate? Yes. Okay. Little background, guys. There's a very much a hierarchy in the cult. Oh, and by the way, we've been living on the edge lately, right? Mm hmm And I make up nicknames for everybody, right? Right. Um, the cult actually has a freaking nickname from the people in the surrounding area. Oh, what is it? And they called them that before I even joined. So should should we call the cult by their their nickname? Oh, please, what is it? The House of Yahoos. <laughs> What do you think of that? I love it. Okay. I mean, it fits, doesn't it? It so fits. I was so offended when I found out that that's what the local people called all of us. Oh, my God. And, and, and you know, I guess they realized it was a cult way back in the 80s and 90s right, for right. crying out loud. And Yeah, my little feelings, my little 22-year-old, 23-year-old feelings got hurt when I found them. They don't like us. Why don't they like us? Okay, we got, I gotta find Brandon now. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. So when did he get back to you? Like, how long did it take him to figure this out? Um, I actually asked him for last week's show, but he didn't get back to me till like the day after we did the show. Okay. Okay. He called it my mommy document. Oh my god. Okay. Open that up. I'm getting there. Okay, thank you so much for doing this because um, I have quite a bit of inside information and people I can get information from, but this is gold. Hell yeah. Um, do I want to view it? Yes, I would very much like to view it. Um, he wrote this August 5th, and it's entitled My Mommy. Okay? A lot of people ask me all of the time about my mother and her position in the House of Yahoo's. To put it mildly, she is a big player and has her foot in a lot of things. Most of the women that leave the cult have some very sour memories about my mother, and I don't have too many good things, and don't have too many good things to say about her. Laura, we have talked before of why I call her the bitch I love to right. hate. So does every other basically female that's out of there, okay? Back to Brandon's, uh... My mother has the main, quote-unquote, receptionist job at the cult. So that anything that happens has to go through her. She is also the main women's counselor. So every issue that pertains to anything to do with any woman, she knows about it. As the receptionist, all work orders, all work crews... Anyone or anything that needs approval from little man has to go through her. What does that tell you? Knowledge is power, right? And she knows everything that goes on. As far as women giving sermons, it started because, quote unquote, women needed power. Because some of them were losing faith and leaving. So... Their solution was to give women some authority and call them judges. Basically, this gave some women of uh, it gave some of the power um, to an elder, a woman elder over other women. Needless to say, my mother is what they call a high judge, which is a judge of the judges. <laughs> when I asked her, "What the hell gives you the right?" Um, to judge other people, her response was, God. I honestly could not roll my eyes any harder when I heard that. Um, everyone knew Shaul was little man's right-hand man. If there was any issue on the men's side, 
of the cult, he would handle it, and um, men are alt, and only, hold on, I gotta start over. Everyone knew Shaul was little man's right-hand man. If there was any issue on the men's side of the cult, he would handle it, and only differ to tell little man if it was too big of an issue for him. So since men are ultimately above women there, and the pecking order was little man, Shaul, bitch I love to hate, delete Shaul, and now it is just my mama. Hope this helps you in understanding, and if you need anything else, just holla at me. Does that make sense to you now? It does. I That makes a lot of sense. The women are getting smart. They're wanting to leave. It's like, hey, I'll throw you a little bit of power. Why don't you stay? Um, I read something interesting from a friend the other day that, Laura, you can take a chicken and hold on to it and pluck every damn feather out of it as it screams in pain. Why would you do that? That's so... Okay, no. okay. I didn't say do this. I said you can, okay? I guess this was an experiment. Some sick motherfucker You just gave me the chills. Did. You just gave me the chills. As much as you have hurt that bird and plucked it bald... You let it go and you start throwing it bird seed. It'll eat. It will eat the bird seed coming from you. Um, the cult's pretty much the same thing. They rip everything from you. Your identity, your womanhood, your your self-esteem. They do it to the men too. Don't get me wrong, okay? But they they just grind the women down so hard... Because they know women are powerful creatures and they don't want an uprising. So you're correct. Throw the women a little bit of bird seed after you've plucked all their feathers and they're not going to remember you plucking their feathers out. They're just going to remember the kindness of, oh, look, they're feeding us right. now. Does that analogy oh, make sense? Oh, God. Yeah, it does. And, you know, I really hate to get gruesome with you guys, but the shit that goes on out there is gruesome. Um, yeah, keep going, throw the women a little bit of power, right? Mm hmm Oh my God. And, um, if everything goes through the receptionist, she knows everybody and everything. Any oh yeah, order, she has the dirt on everybody. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So wait, she's the judge of the judges, right? Yes. How, do you know how many female judges there are? That would be elders' wives. Oh, so they're all judges now. I would assume so, okay. and um, I don't know if they give that um, power to the common folk, like the deaconesses or the deacons. Um, they're not accepting new members, so <clears throat> maybe everybody has an office already. Maybe. Um, yeah, speaking of offices, um, they didn't have a whole hell of a lot on their shit, let me tell you, okay? They're like dwindling down on their stuff that they're posting. There's not a whole lot of um, little man quotes. It's mostly Bible scriptures mm -hmm. or it's time to pray or be at peace with your brothers and sisters. Stupid shit. Okay. Um, I did find this one interesting though. It was the only one I found interesting. Um, you have the wonderful opportunity to have an office in the government of God in the new world. What do you what do you make of that? I have no clue. So now God's running a government and you can have like your little own little cubicle? He, he's hiring you? I, I, I don't know. Can we bring up his secretary that he supposedly has? I, I don't know. I, I, according to him, do we when we die, like do we all go to the big office building in the sky? Oh, you mean when we die we have to have jobs still? I well, yes. Uh, Laura, we have to, uh, the chosen ones have to teach the heathen scum God's laws for like, I forget, like a couple thousand years. And if you still don't repent and join their little culty thing, you see, you've already died once. Gotcha. You'll die again. You'll die the second death, which isn't hell. You, you just cease to exist. All memory of you ceases to be. So then what difference does it make? You know, I haven't really ever figured out this this stuff. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I have one single bread sack. <laughs> it's the only bread sack in the past couple weeks. And what does it say? 
The only reason I got this is because it's following along their lines of they're not quoting Little Man. Um, their official page and their unofficial page is basically just videos of services, law classes, and Bible verses. That's like their blog. I'm telling you. It's it's like they dropped off the face yep. of the earth. Yep. Okay. Um, this week's only bread sack. Only one it's been for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, all your works will praise you, O oh God, and your saints will bless you. I thought they didn't believe in saints. Um, I, I don't know. But it's it's actually Psalms. Psalms 145, 10. Okay. So they're sticking with the... We're sticking our... We're not sticking ourselves out there as much as we used to. That's what it looks like. Because there were no nifty warning videos right. from green screen queen again. You know, hey, kudos, guys. Um, You uh, cleaned the room up. <laughs> You still need to get, like, a, a computer monitor that doesn't look like it's from the late 80s. Yep. Come on. Um, why do you think they're not posting anything that is real current or Little Man's Do you think Little quotes? Man's, like, really sick and they're all figuring out what the hell they're going to do? I think they're scrambling because um, I've been talking to a lot of people in Cali there. Um Oh, as a matter of fact, um, let me find it. Oh, you know, I'm not going to find it. Um, I'll find it eventually. But um, you had, somebody's catching up. I'll say hi to you in a little while. But you had asked at one point, do you think it'll make the news when Little Man kicks the big bucket? Right. Um, it, um, hi, Kim. She's been texting me like almost every day with questions and stuff like that. And uh, she said that it would definitely make the news oh, there. Oh, get out. Yes. It would definitely, definitely make the news. Um, but as we discussed an episode or two ago, the, the news has been kind of shooed away from there. They're, the last time I think they made the news, I shared that video with you that they were having services when like the rest of the state was shut down, mm -hmm. I think back in late March, early yeah. April, yeah, or something that. like that. And then they still had the feast because, you know, hey, they do what they want, right? right. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? We have to get back to this, okay? Because, see, I took a picture of Little Man and all his healthfulness with his red face. A huge difference. Now, huge difference. They were talking, I made you listen to him because it was just downright ridiculous that um, this past week's sermon, he was saying that all the rest of us are going to get the coronavirus, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, because we're not righteous. We're not, we're not God's people. And when the last person gets the coronavirus, we'll all have the mark of the beast, right? Right. Okay. And then five months after the last person gets it, it's going to disappear. Well, yeah, no shit because it go. it's like, it's gone. Just like you have the flu, you get over it. Well, that's what he's, he's making these predictions. Oh God. Come on. Um, oh, look, he has his own, I took a screenshot of this. He has his own, like, another page that you can look him up on Facebook. Um, he apparently has 1.3 thousand members. 1.3 thousand? 1.3 K. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you were going to say million, and I was no. just like, what? Oh, we have more followers on our Facebook page for I Got the Hell Out than he got. <laughs> We officially hit 1,400. Thank you so much, nice. guys, on Facebook. Nice. Um, okay, we got to get rid of that because it's just creeping me out. It shouldn't be on my phone. Um, this is something that was shared on their non-official page. Mm -hmm. um, what is that? That's the temple that they built. The um, I'm going to keep this one and block some stuff out. But apparently they're still showing, and that's Little Man in the background. Is that the one they're going to build in Israel? Yeah. Oh, so they're still doing that. Well, they're supposed to be. That's what I Come mean. On. Okay, so the plans are still there. All right. Okay, now this same guy, does this not look creepy as hell? <gasps> Ooh. Um, hey, everyone, live Sabbath services, and it's like little man with a sunset behind him, all creepily dressed in purple, like holding his hand out like Jesus does. Ugh. Do you, I, I'm going to block his face out on that one, too, because it's just too, too, too. And they're using the overhead um, aerial in order mm -hmm. to um, 
on their magazine. So I'm going to black yep. some stuff. There's going to be a shit ton posted um, this week. Guys, if you want to head on over to Facebook, if you're not a member yet, check us out on I Got the Hell Out. Um, answer a few questions. Yeah, just answer a few questions. Um, apparently, um, they have somebody following the Jerusalem Post. Okay. All right. Um, they're citing articles from the Jerusalem Post all the time. Okay. I can't get rid of that. And um, this was them um, with their Demetria shit again. I, I don't know. Do you have any idea? No. No, that just... I guess they have nothing else to do. Throw that in there. Okay, I gotta I gotta post the pictures of little man waving his shit around. Okay. Um, I'm going to get permission to post this picture. This was my son's best friend. In Where the cult. is he? He is in the I think the Navy now. Oh my God, he's gonna kill me. It's Levi. Um, and that's him standing on a helicopter. Dang. He he. I, I don't remember what branch of is the it Air Force if he's flying. I don't know. I th I think they're on a ship. Oh, is that a ship? Yeah, I couldn't tell what that was. Um, yeah. Um. Okay, it was. Uh, yeah, my 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 buddy Kim that I've never met in Cali, um, that has been talking to me, and she's the one that told me that it would make local news if it ever hit. And, oh, remember our assistant, Marie? Mm -hmm. She's received many packages of seeds from China. Oh, nice. Did anybody, anybody out there get seeds from China? Some dude in Arkansas is growing them, and they, they're, like, growing wild. I imagine, what's what's the plant's name from Little Shop of Horrors? Oh, crap. And the, everybody's yelling it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I imagine man-eating plants mm -hmm. being grown at this point. Oh, don't plant that crap. Well, she hasn't planted any of them. I found it interesting. I didn't know anybody who had found those. Um, okay, hi to an Ashley C., who is um, somewhere out in Cali. I let her in. Um, she lives there and was reading on the page and found us. Um, and she has also been very concerned about the sheriff runoff. And um, she's... I guess into home health and she's been into a few members houses i've had a lot Ooh, of people tell me that's a really creepy that experience that is interesting so hi ashley what is she does she does she like expand on that at all or i no, guess she, she really was just can't. answering the question of yeah, how, gotcha. how to get in um wow i got two big things to talk about and we have to get to pending posts and we're halfway done get to the important stuff it's all important <laughs> okay all right. Um, okay, I'll just go through it through what's in the, the homework book real quick. Okay. Um, I we all watch things like CSI, CSI Miami, Law and Order, um, SVU. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we all, at least I was like, oh wow, okay, you know, and somebody who's actually in those those um, professions can pick apart what's not right in certain right. episodes. Yep. Just like you as a pharmacist. They'll like make up some drug or, yeah. Or they'll put some, they'll give them some drug that's not compatible with something they're on right. or pretend to give them an IV or whatever. Right, right. No, you're right. Um, the sad news is, is like I, this is, um, quite a few people wanted to remain anonymous in the information that they were giving me. Um, but this person told me that this is basically public knowledge for that that county. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, no shit. Okay, Because this plays into a lot of how they're able to get away with what a lot of the shit they get away with. Right. Okay. Don't you think if somebody died from something sketchy, like two heart attacks, if they're eating this special free meal, don't you think there'd be an autopsy or two? Mm-hmm. I, I kind of thought, you know. Um... That county is so poor that they have a budget and they only have, are allotted three autopsies a year. What? I didn't know you, what? I didn't know there was like an allotment. I, I had no idea either. Holy So, I mean, do you wait crap. until like the mayor gets murdered or... I, 
So what do you do? Like if it's February, oh, this isn't sketchy enough. I got to wait to, you know, to the end of the year. I, I don't know. I was like literally thoroughly shocked. Um, and they have to budget for three of them because apparently, I guess they don't have a real live corner on the books. Three a year. Three a year. Holy hell. Okay. And again, how do you decide who gets that? Right, right. What's sketchy enough to, to determine, oh hey, God. we need do to Do they have to like topic. check off? Is there a checklist? Yeah. I have no idea. Oh, my God. I'm hoping um, to get some more information. Oh, that is messed up. Um, they um, have no crime scene investigation unit. Oh, that's convenient. They can't afford one. It's, it's a specialty right, in law right. enforcement because you are going to a crime scene and you know what to look for. You you, you went to special specially, school. Yeah, you have to be specially trained. So, no offense to the law enforcement that are there, but now you've got just regular cops coming to look at. Yep, looks like an accident to me. Okay, or if Sheriff Stubby gets in, yep, it was an accident. That that that. Yep, that was a suicide. He had two gunshots to the back of his head, but we're ruling it a suicide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And they are such a poor county. Um, we talked about how he played dirty. Little man played dirty when he had all of these charges against him. Was actually arrested. Remember all the members dressed in orange for solidarity? Yes, yes. Prison orange. It was yes. the prison orange feast. Okay. Um, he didn't just send letters to every single residence, business, address in, in Cali. He sent it to the surrounding counties also. Do you know how much money that would be in postage Holy and stamps and yeah. ink and envelopes? Even though it's discounted because, you know, they're a 503C, which I'm sure he took full advantage of the mailing of that shit oh, out. Oh, of course. And of course, you know, that all just went under the radar. Mm -hmm. Um, but they had to move the his trial. I mean, he was looking at a lot of, like, 20 to 50 years for his crimes. But now, since it had to be moved, I mean, it's brilliant. It was a brilliant loophole that his scumbag attorney figured out wow. or knew, okay? Tanked the entire jury pool for three counties. And it has to be moved to, you know, basically three hours away. And this tiny... County doesn't have the money to put these people up in a hotel for however long it takes mm -hmm. for their testimony, their meals. It, it just really sucked because... <sighs> anyway. Um, I, I would... Uh, okay, we got two more major things, but one I really want to talk about, and the other one, me and you discussed. I let you read right. through the texts. Okay? Oh, right, yeah. Because we're not going to discuss that one too much yet. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I am doing a thing, Laura. I am finally, like, feeling really good because I'm doing a thing. What thing are you doing? Re remember how I told you I was going to do the YouTube channel? Mikey yeah. was helping us? Yes. Well, Mikey started doing this like four months ago, and there was only like six episodes up. And shout out to you, Mikey. Mikey's working four different jobs, and he's going to school. Oh, man. And you know who he's interning with? Who? Your Jag Off podcast. Oh. Shout out to you guys. Hey. Um, yeah, they're, they're another Pittsburgh-based podcast. Um, they came over and had a porch party with us, mm -hmm. and... I think that was like the real start of this podcast. Yeah. We learned that was a lot the very from them. Beginning. Yeah. And we said hi to them out in Kennywood at the last yeah. pierogi fest. So I wonder if there will be a pierogi festival this year. I don't know, but back to the uh. YouTube channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I I now have a YouTube we have a YouTube channel. And Mikey came over um before I had to go to work the one night and I um started four. I think he came over like at one and it took three hours of him trying to, because he's going into media. Mm -hmm. um, it took him three hours to figure out and see, I started on this paper of how I had to do stuff. Okay. okay. But then 
we couldn't do it the way he needed it to be done on my phone. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to be able to work on this also for the episodes. It literally takes me an hour and it takes me all of these steps that if you mess one of them up or forget what you're doing, you basically have to start over again. Oh my God. And it takes an hour to do it. But I am so proud of myself. Guys, um, of course, it's titled, I Got the Hell Out. Um, it's a channel on YouTube. Please uh, go like, subscribe, subscribe, rate. We already have, as of this morning, we have 10 followers on our YouTube channel that have no idea we do with the podcast. Oh. Ain't that crazy? That is, yeah. And when Mikey was looking at the stats, we have over a thousand minutes of our program downloaded. And he's like... Um, for only having like eight episodes listed, that's like incredible and having, um, cause we picked up two more YouTube followers cause Mikey's like, you already have eight followers. I'm like, who are they? He's like, I don't know. Um, I have to give a shout out to glowing Ember. Okay. okay. Why? Um, because as Mikey was showing me how to upload these, she started asking real time questions. Oh, that's so neat. On YouTube. Like, she would comment on th the episode she was mm -hmm. listening to. And Mike's like, oh, my God, we have someone listening live right now. And I'm oh, like, that's so cool. really? Um, anyway, I told her about the Facebook page. She wanted, she suggested to put vid pictures that they can look at because it's basically just a blank, black screen because we're not. Oh, in the YouTube channel? Oh, yeah. I was supposed to be videotaping this to put it on the, on the YouTube channel later. Oh, God. Oops. <laughs> next time um i forget your name honey i'm so sorry i meant to write it down but i yeah um whoop squirrel and um anyway she joined us in the facebook group we're up to 1400 on there i mean I, that's pretty exciting isn't it yeah that's i like that number that's pretty good okay um it was a lot of learning this week there was a couple of times that like i downloaded the same the same program and I was like, no, I just spent an hour doing the uh, wrong thing. And then I couldn't figure out how to delete it. I spent three days trying to figure out. Three how to, days. Three days trying to figure out how to delete this thing. And I found it by accident how to delete it. So At least you found it. Guys, At least anybody it. out there who is contemplating starting something new, whether it's a musical instrument, singing, dancing, painting, a craft, a podcast, um, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. It was we like, still don't. welcome to the shit show. We still don't know what we're doing. But we're doing it. Right. And um, at some point, guys, we are going to hit a half a million downloads, and we are going to drink for that episode. Oh, we yes. Um, we're not going to keep a close count. Well, we do, but we're not going to let you know how close we are to it. Uh, my dumb ass kind of miss looked at it last <laughs> week and thought, we're going to do it this week. And Laura was like, uh, look at that number again, Deb. I was like... <laughs> Oh, shit, yeah, okay, you're right. <laughs> um, but it, it's been, I got, we went from having six episodes published in four months. Mm -hmm. I just published this morning while I was finishing up the show, episodes 22, 23, and 24. Oh, nice. Shady shit, the one I suggest people start with. Mm hmm um, they know when the cult finds out and everybody out there is a listening to us and Kenny's corner, bada bing, because you know, when your ex-husband's listening, you can't help, but you know, tell the shit that happened and you know, he's listening mm -hmm. and he's getting pissed off as hell. Then you shouldn't have done it. Exactly. Kenny, if you don't want people to say bad things about you, you shouldn't do and say bad things about other people in situations and stuff. Very simple. Okay. Um, now let's see, where are we going to? We did screenshots. Um, oh, and thank you to, um, Tony C. Um, they had a nickname for the Mormons out in Utah. The culted. No, well, the, the locals. Oh, the locals. Oh, that's okay. what made me decide to, you know, come out with gotcha. the house of yahoos. That's so funny. Okay. Okay. What's. Okay. The word pigs. Mm hmm. Put an L in there. Pligs for polygamist. But they called them plagues. P L I G S. Oh my gosh. Plagues. It's the, the plagues. <laughs> so thank you, Tony. Um, yeah. Oh, a shout out to ex member Jewel. She's in the house. 
I will always remember this woman. She was my age, and she quit smoking while 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 there. Do you know why? Why? Because she accidentally left or dropped a lit cigarette in her car. Um, the entire interior went up in flames. <gasps> Um, and she was told that was God to tell her to quit smoking. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh... Did he come on the radio to tell her? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, if, as far as I remember, I could be remembering wrong, but I think it even burned up in, in the sanctuary parking lot, it, it, like, during a feast or something. Um, but when something major like that happens, you get a talking to. Apparently so. Okay, um, yeah... Jewel doesn't go by Jewel anymore, um, but yeah, it's just, it's comical what you remember about people. She asked to get into the I Got the Hell Out Facebook page, mm -hmm. and she's like, I was in the cult you were in. I don't know if you remember me or not, and I like had, had to message her. How could I forget the woman who oh lit her God. car on fire? You don't forget those things. <laughs> okay, um... So many people have been contacting me. Um, a lot of it I can't share right now. But I'm going to share a tidbit with you. Mm -hmm. This has been like the biggest roller coaster, crazy, what is happening now? I mean, I feel like I'm in a movie at this point with what's happening with this podcast. The people that are contacting me, the information that I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have one more player in this game. Okay. Okay. Would you like to know who it is? Drum roll. All right. Okay. This person, person, we're not going to talk about them much, but they would like to remain completely anonymous. Okay. Who is this person? They have left the cult. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying when they left, but gotcha. They be gone. One of the little man's children. Get out. Yes. Um, they contacted me, um, specifically and let me know who they were. I, and they had, um, did you know them or no, 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 this no. Was, okay. No, I, I have no, um, all I can say is they, um, contacted me. They were told by someone else to contact me because I might be able to help. Okay. Okay. Now the things I, I let you read Okay, um, technical difficulties, guys. It may or may not be fixed. We're not real sure, but we're still in the red and running. Um, shall I keep talking, Laura? Yeah. Okay, well, um, as always... Oh, this episode's going to be fantastic. It's, it's always a shit show. Do you know that? Always a freaking shit show. Um, anyway, they kind of have a problem, and they just needed some advice and stuff, and... I don't know what to tell them, and I showed it to you, so we may update this later on. Yeah. So, and I'm leaving you with the job of putting this all together now. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the shit show. It's the shit show. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to run this as long as I wanted to today because we're running late, and I have to go to work, Okay. Um, but we will get to pending posts because there's like 25 of them here. Holy shit. So. Okay. Um, write to us with your questions about this whole last episode of a shit show here. Um, Ashley C. says thanks for the ad. Um, she came across us on iTunes. She's hooked. Um, we crack her up. And she can't wait to keep listening to us. A ch ex-child member, Amy, um, sent us a shit show t-shirt. We were just talking about it being the freaking shit show. Yeah, we should be wearing those today. I'm just hoping you can figure out how to put this all back together now that we chopped it all you up. You and me both. You and me both. Um, Kim H. asked the question of, was my diner in one of the small surrounding towns or was it in the big town? It was in the big town. Um, it was in the big town. Okay. Because I was in the big town. <laughs> um... As I told you, a bunch of us are speaking out. Melody started um, a few different Facebook groups, and she started um, interviewing people. Ooh. So, hi, Mel. Um, this started out as a test run, and it ran into an impromptu interview um, with another ex-member named Damon. So, I am going to approve that for anybody who would like to watch that. And... 
Jane L. Um, gave us a resource. It's a book called In the House of Friends, Understanding and Healing from Spiritual Abuse in Christian Churches, which i Ooh. guessing it could be any church. Right, absolutely. So we're going to approve that. Um, Tara L. gave us um, Bug Lollipops. Oh, are those ants? Yeah, they're ants inside the suckers. Nice. Um, my mom, hi mom, told me that my grandmother loved, when they would go, wherever they went, they would go past this one little candy store, and my grandmother would always make them stop so she could go in and look at, like, the ants and the scorpions and other stuff. That oh, was, I've seen those. Um, but I, I asked her, did grandma ever get those? And she's like, oh, hell no. Um, okay. Emily C. is, she's bored to death because it's the apocalypse. Um, and she's re-listening to the podcast. And um, she's in Canada and she says, yes, yes, we really do freeze maple syrup and eat it. We talked about that one right, time. Right, right. You go outside with a stick in yep. the snow and you pour maple syrup over this stick and it freezes. And then you have frozen maple syrup on a stick. There you go. It never got cold enough for us to try. It didn't snow enough. So, um... This is a really long one post, and we're not going to have a lot of time today because, again, we are running late. Would you expect anything less from us? You know, at this point, uh, anything goes. Um, Cults Daily. Um, thank you, Betty Lou T. Um, Cults Daily. It's another podcast. Um, it's called The House of Yahoos. So look that podcast up. People are people are delving into mm -hmm. what these people are, you know, doing. I would post it myself, except I don't want the real real words in there. Gotcha. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And anybody who wants stickers, you know, just give me a self dress stamped envelope. I'm not even charging you for the stickers. Sticker that place up. Okay. Did we forget anything? Yeah. How to record the podcast properly? It's about it. Hey, but I'm figuring out YouTube. No, I have I'm really impressed. I, I got all those. Well, it, used to piss, it pissed me off when I would like have one on there, and I realized it was the same amount of time as the one I just did before, and I had grabbed the wrong file. Thing. Yeah, it's... Anyway. Mm -hmm. um, keep the questions coming, guys. I'm sorry this is a short episode. We, uh, we can never start recording at 2 o'clock again, especially with problems. No shit. Um, sorry for the short episode. Um... Got some more information in the works, but as always, I don't. Can't give a lot of it out. You know what I mean? Eventually. 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 It's, 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 it's like you, you can't hide the light forever. Mm -hmm. It comes shining through. So yep. um, maybe one of these days, you know, we'll figure out what's going on in the hellhole out there. Maybe there'll be a video that you'll actually like watching. Oh, by the I way. I highly doubt it. By the way, they have their own cartoon channel. No. I think we looked at it once, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Do they have Little... Like, is it Little Man as a cartoon? I think so. <gasps> now that I will watch. Um, I'll have to look for it. Oh, you need to find that. Uh, if anybody has a link to the Little Man cartoon <laughs> series on... I guess YouTube or whatever. I mean, they got their fingers dabbling oh, wait, out and everything. We've seen those. Hold on, we've seen those. They were scary, weren't they? Yeah, we've seen those. I'm not talking about the beavers in the book. Was it? There that was, was scary beavers. There was something we watched. There was a cartoon. I, oh hell, I'll have to go find it. I, I don't know. We've been doing this for over two years now, two and a half years. Um, as I'm doing these, getting these episodes ready to upload to YouTube, there's like 9 million steps to it, but I keep getting a chuckle because I have to put a description on there <laughs> and I keep remembering what the episode was, was about, you know, like Kenny's corner, mm -hmm. um, you know, when they found out and I know they're actually listening to me. Oh, of course. You know, Pippi's in this episode now too. Absolutely. <laughs> he I missed hit, it. I hit every red light on the way over here. Um, you were busy turning on the computer so that we weren't wasting time. And I was like knocking on your door and your keys are in my car. And I'm like, I know if I walk to the car, it's just gonna, you know, um, yeah. And the dog's barking it's, and it's we screwed. It's the shit show and, today. You know, we, we screwed. At screwed this point. About, yeah. But that's okay. Um, just remember to be kind to everybody, guys, and keep contacting me with details and information. If you want to remain anonymous, you always will remain anonymous. If you want me to know something and not say something, I can do that too. 
Um, but all the puzzle pieces are falling into place. And thank you to Brandon for giving us that rundown on the bitch I love to hate and how she's just dancing on Shaul's grave. Do you know that? With big grin on her face. Well, yeah, Shaul was only 61 years old. That's not old. That's only That's 11 years old. older than me. Um, and But then again, we don't know what cleanses, what food, right. what what they're all doing out there. I wonder how many people have died out there. And we just don't know about it? Exactly. Oh, I'm sure a hell of a lot. Um, I felt so bad for one ex-member. Uh, her dad was an elder, and he was the last family member left there, except for, I think, her youngest sister. But um, the man died. This was several years ago. Well-loved, beloved elder. He wasn't... I would say he was one of the ones that was actually genuinely there for the goodness of it. Mm-hmm. But because he lived on little man's property, in a trailer, of course, um, the, for I, what I heard from her was the minute he died, they put a padlock on the doors, on the outside of the trailer. So um, they, they couldn't even get a suit to bury their father. And um, they called the sheriff's department, and they were told, even though it was their dad's trailer... It was on Little Man's property, and he had every right to lock it. Um, if they wanted the possessions that were inside, they'd have to go through court to get them. And by nice. then, by then the place would have been cleaned out completely right. um, by the time you get to court. And they, they, they came back to town to bury to their dad. So they had to go to Sears or J.C. Penney's or wherever and buy a freaking suit to bury their father. It, what a godly place. Mm -hmm. What oh, a godly man. There's so many things they do. They're so godly. Again, shifty and shady shit. They've never they've never bought a grocery for anybody other than these free free freaky ass meals that we're all freaked out about because it's just it's fucked up. So, um you got anything to add other than you're going to pull your hair out when I leave mm -hmm. and promise to text me when you finally either find your notebook on how to fix the fuck ups or um, like you give up for the night or something because probably that. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, um, be kind, be safe. Send us your questions. Send us your self-addressed stamped envelopes. It's been Deb. And Laura. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.